Hello there. When discussing some of the great directors of animation, we have the usual names that come up. Brad Bird, Andrew Stanton, Hayao Miyazaki, Chuck Jones, Nick Park, John Musker, Ron Clements, and so on. However, the animation director is not frequently brought up in conversation. I've been continually impressed by the work of Matthew O'Callaghan. What has he done over the years? Well, I think you might be quite impressed. Like a lot of Carl Arts graduates, O'Callaghan began his career at Walt Disney Animation, the first production he worked on being Mickey's Christmas Carol, and he also worked alongside the legendary animator Glenn Keane. However, his big break came when he served as a storyboard artist and animator on The Great Mouse Detective. He was one of the multitude of storymen on the film, but his most notable contribution is storyboarding the exciting end action sequence in the skies of London and Big Ben. O'Callaghan also provided some additional character animation on the memorable villain Radigan. Following that, he got the chance to direct the television special Sport Goofy and Soccer Mania, and the careful timing and Warner Brothers type humor he would display in his future directorial efforts is evident. The classic characters of Goofy, Scrooge McDuck, his nephews, and the Beagle Boys are exceptionally well utilized, and the special provides many funny moments. In a way, it could also be seen as a successful precursor to DuckTales. Along with some local animation for Who Framed Roger Rabbit, O'Callaghan was also appointed the task of directing animator on The Little Mermaid. Like The Grey Mouse Detective, he storyboarded the exciting climax where Ursula takes control of the sea. It was also O'Callaghan's design the character that led Ursula to have octopus tentacles. From Disney, who moved on to Hyperion, where he storyboarded on Rover Dangerfield, an animated film I actually quite enjoyed for its sweet story and stand-up style sense of humor. It's a shame Warner Brothers buried it, as I think it deserves to be more widely seen. While Hyperion was developing Bebe's Kids, O'Callaghan directed the preceding short, The Itsy Bitsy Spider, based on the classic tune. However, he instead turned it into an homage of 80s era action films, with Jim Carrey voiced an exterminator going after a spider. The result was a funny short with clever designs and a lot of humor set pieces, as the story gets crazier and crazier as it goes along. The short even led to an animated series that ran for two seasons on the USA Network. Having worked with Ronnie Dangerfield and Jim Carrey, comedian Louie Anderson asked him to help create an animated series, and the result was Life with Louie. Inspired by Anderson's stand-up comedy, the show evolved around a young Louie dealing with his eccentric family, along with the other trappings of everyday life. The result was a funny show aided by O'Callaghan's unique character designs and Anderson's strong voice work. Humor worked as the show aimed for a more down-to-earth feel rather than going full-on cartoony, and it proved to be a hit on the Fox network, and it still holds up very well today. Following his stint in television, O'Callaghan worked on storyboard for Turning Entertainment's Cat Stowe Dance, and was even at one point set to direct Shrek. He also did some special effects work for Disney, including the Gadget Mobile, in an obscure little film you probably never heard anybody talk about. Ever. He found himself back in the director's chair, for the charming, hand-drawn, animated feature Curious George, based on the popular series of books. With its lush color palette, well-chosen voice actors, and winning sense of humor, O'Callaghan did a great job of bringing the books to life, especially considering he had to rework a script that had been worked on by many hands, from Brad Bird to even William Goldman. This is a touching story about the budding relationship between the man in the yellow hat and that ever-so-curious ape. After having worked with so many comedians, it made sense for Will Ferrell to star in a Matthew Callan project, and he actually tones down his usual act for his role here. Even though at first glance, Curious George seems like it might only appeal to small children, there's plenty to be enjoyed by people of every age. Even though it's successful in its release, it's not often brought up among discussions of modern animated features, which is a shame. I would even go so far as to say, I find it to be the best animated film 2006. Definitely give it a chance if you never did before. Following a brief return to Disney, Matthew O'Callaghan then landed the task of reviving the theatrical Looney Tunes shorts at Warner Brothers. Though making them computer animated sounds like blasphemy, he's done a phenomenal job of transferring the characters and sense of humor to the new medium. The timing and character animation is absolutely fantastic, capturing the spirit of the Looney Tunes perfectly. However, most importantly, these shorts are very funny in the classic Chuck Jones and Chris Freeling tradition. The first of these were a trio of Roadrunner and Wally Coyote shorts that feels exactly like O'Callaghan has taken the original drawings and transferred them to 3D. They're that, that close to the original comedy. The last couple of shorts, I Taught I Taught Putty Tat and Daffy's Rhapsody, meanwhile adapt originally recorded songs by Mel Blanc to animation, oh so perfectly timing them to the right visuals. Truthfully, my only disappointment with these shorts are their placements. 
I would love to experience them on the big screen, but I'm not likely to buy a ticket to titles like Cats and Dogs 2 and Journey to the Mysterious Island. In the 40s, Looney Tunes shorts played before films such as Casablanca and Key Largo. I would have loved to have seen one of the Roadrunner shorts play prior to a showing of Inception or Horrible Bosses. Think about it, Warner Brothers. In conclusion, even though you didn't recognize his name before, hopefully you now got an idea of what Matthew Kalana has contributed to the world of animation.